And reaction to the events in Volgograd has been coming in. International leaders have been offering their sympathies to those affected. Let's now cross live to Oshie Sarah first. She's live in London. Uh, Sarah, what have you been hearing so far? Well, worldwide leaders have expressed condolences, and we'll take a look at some of that international reaction now. We've heard from the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu saying that the attacks serve as a painful reminder of the urgent need to join forces in a united effort to eradicate the dangerous scourge of terrorism. We've also heard from a number of uh, high-level political leaders. Of course, you've got um, the uh, French uh, President Hollande. Uh, we've heard from German Chancellor Angela Merkel, who uh, sent a letter of condolence to President Putin, expressing her grief over the attacks that took place in Volgograd. Uh, the U.S. Department of State released a statement saying that the U.S. condemns on the strongest terms the attacks and uh, the UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon are also uh, expressing his sympathies and calling for the perpetrators to be brought to justice uh, and around the world in the aftermath of those attacks I think that's uh, very much what we've heard echoed is the calls for a unified approach to addressing uh, th the issue of terrorism worldwide. Auntie Sarah live from London. Sarah thank you very much indeed for that update.